Hey, what's up? This is Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com and today I'm going to share with you a little secret that I have that saves me tons and tons of time and headaches when creating, when building down rails or any sort of flat projects that I use my work table for. Now I'm going to share with you this simple little jig that will save you tons of time, will literally take you five minutes to make and you can create just about any sort of scrap that you have laying around. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick the down rail jig that I have. Now, very, very easy jig to make. Anyone can make this. It doesn't matter what kind of table or materials you have. Anyone can make this. You can see what we have is I'm still using my wooden table. I usually always use wooden tables. And we just have a nice thick piece of angle iron here. It's not too thick. It's about a quarter inch thick. But I, I, I want it good and sturdy because I know that this is rigid. I know that it's not going to wobble or bend. I know that it's going to be something that I can clamp materials to without it moving. Now, very simple. I have a piece that's uh, the width of my table. It's about, I have a four foot wide table. So I have a four foot wide or four foot long piece of uh, angle here because I wanted it to go the length of my table. Now, all we did was we drilled two holes, just two holes. One small hole, just so a screw could go through, you know, like 3 16 something, 5 16 something like that, that a, a, a screw could go to. I've said 5 16 so 3 16 hole so uh, your screw could go through. Uh, and then we have like a half inch uh, hole down here for a half inch bolt. And the only reason I have a half inch bolt is simply because I had one laying around. You can see, I don't have this bolted down, but we just had this decorative bolt laying around, so that's what we used. We just drill the hole through through the material and then we're going to drill a hole through the table. Now, it's important that you leave a little bit of a gap down here on the table. You don't want this to go all the way flush on the table because when you start to move this, it's going to hit and it's not going to give you a full range of motion. And you'll see what I mean here in just a second. So right now you can see I have it set so I have a little bit of an angle. So this in here is going to be my working area. It's not a, it's not a 90 degree right here. This is more of a, more, well, it's closer to a 45. Now, this is usually what I use for down rails. Um, I'll show you how to quickly change your angle. It's really just as simple as removing this screw. So I'm going to take my screw gun or screwdriver, whatever it is that you have that you can use, unscrew that really quick, and now I have a full range of motion that I can move this, this piece of metal. And that's going to change my angle. So, all I need to do is figure out what angle I want. I'll just come right here in this little section here, figure out what your angle is, draw your line, and then you can literally just move your piece of metal to line up with your line, screw in the screw, and you're all set. You're ready to go. You've got a very quick, very easy to maneuver jig that you can use for any angles. And this also makes great, great right angle jig. So I can move this here. I'll just set a square up to here real quick, make sure that I have a 90, screw my screw back in there, and I have a great two-sided table to work off of, which is excellent. I, I almost always do all my projects in this section here because I have two edges to butt all my stuff up against. So I, don't, I can quickly move stuff around. I don't have to worry about clamping so many different things down and moving tons of jigs around to, uh, to make sure everything is square.